Is that your actual last name? Mm -hmm. Spelt like the fruit? Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's very fitting for a food show. I just realized. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Wow! What a That's revelation. the only reason you were hired. They all knew except you, and they're like, that's, that's why. Dish me. <clears throat> Until next time, I'm your host, Priscilla Cherry, and that was Dish Me. Bye! We gotta work on these outros. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I said that was Dish Me. Hey, foodies! Welcome to Dish Me. I'm your host, your girl, your food lover. Miss Priscilla Terry, and I am so excited to welcome you back for another season. And I'm not alone this time around. I am joined by the one, the only, Calgary Dot Foodie Extraordinaire. Hi, friends. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Julie Moreno. Do you mind introducing yourself and letting everyone know who you are? Yeah, of course. Um, so, my name is Julie, and I was born in Colombia, and I moved to Canada when I was eight years old. Um, moved to Calgary, so I've been here ever since. Um, and I love to eat, I love to cook, um, I love to try new foods. And yeah, that's, I think, the main things about me. Um, I have a dog, a husband, and <laughs> I don't know. That you also regular. Cook for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, not the dog, but the husband. <laughs> we love it. And yeah. so did you deem yourself a foodie? Like that is one question I have for people. Like how do you, because I consider myself a foodie, but really I just love to eat. Is like, like what are the, what's the criteria for being a foodie? I don't think there is one. I think you can definitely like self name yourself a foodie. Like if you love to eat, if you love to try new restaurants and new food and, um, like the experience of going to a restaurant, looking at a menu and yeah. ordering things, like if that excites you. Because that's that's what I feel, I think, when I when I go to restaurants. Yeah. I'm just excited to look at a menu and try something new. And okay. food is also so beautiful to me, like presentation. Mm. Mm. Um, so just like all the different senses that come with eating, I think. Yes. You yeah. See, you see why we invited her here today, friend? <laughs> She's already saying all the right things. No expert, but self-proclaimed foodie. <laughs> yeah, for we sure. Love it. Okay, <laughs> well we heard it here, so now I feel like you gave me the okay ahead to deem myself a foodie. So yes. check, we got that covered. I can deem you a foodie if that, oh, thank if that you. helps. Look at that. It was like this whole, there was, there was a ceremony. That was very ceremonial. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. I accept the title as, as a foodie. <laughs> so we are going to dive in to your food culture, like you said, Colombian yes. food. I'm mm -hmm. so excited. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us like what makes Colombian food different than other maybe Latin countries? I think the main thing is that most people think that when they think of Latin food, they first think of Mexican food. <laughs> uh, Mexican food is delicious, yeah. but the difference, I think one of the main differences is that none of our foods are spicy. Like we okay. don't use spice. There's not a single dish that I can think of that is spicy. Interesting. Um, which I think a lot of people don't know or would just assume maybe. Um, I just learned that right now. Yeah, so we don't have any spicy dishes that I'm aware of. Like, don't kill me. If right, I'm right. Not. But um, <laughs> uh, that's one thing. And we also eat, um, it depends on the regions in Colombia. Like, there's not, like, if you ask someone, what is a Colombian dish? There's not, like, one national dish. It depends mm. on the city, on the region, Ooh. if you're by the coast, if you're up high on the mountains. Um, just based on, like, what grows where you live. Okay. So on the coast, it's more like seafood and things like that. Okay. Um, we also, just given the history that Colombian has, we have a big Afro population on the coast, mm -hmm. so that also influences our food a lot. Mm -hmm. um, whereas like up on the, on the mountains, you grow more potatoes and things like that, so it's okay. more like soups and stews, mm. um, a lot of starches, a lot of carbs. Um, so it's very different depending okay. on, on where you are, which is cool. Nice, mm -hmm. yeah, very versatile. You know yeah. what you're gonna get. And speaking of which, we don't know what we're actually going to get today. Don't, it's, it's a surprise. It'll be a surprise. But I hope you like it. Girl, I hope so too. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm not very picky. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. And yeah, I'm just gonna, I guess, conversate together and you'll walk us through the dishes, what we're experiencing. Yes. Should we, This is like, this makes it official. Okay, okay ready, starting Julie? our date. Wait, how do you say, like, let's eat in Spanish? Vamos a comer. Vamos a comer! <laughs> Ready? Yes. Amen. 
let's go. <laughs> So you sound like you know what you're talking about. Like you, you sound, and I believe you. I believe that you're Colombian. But before we dive into our dishes, we have to do like we have to do like a little quiz just to make sure a Colombian check. Ooh, okay. Ready? Okay. okay. What is the capital of Colombia? Bogota. Bogota, which is, is where I was born. Oh, beautiful! Yeah. Mm -hmm. is, guys, is that right? Okay, it's right. We got a thumbs up in the back. It's right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, the only thing I know how to say in Spanish is very bad. I mean, it's not very, very bad, but it's like, the only thing I know how to say is quítate la ropa. <laughs> so I need, teach me something else. This Do is you like, know what that means? Yes, I know what okay. it means. <laughs> it means take your clothes off. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it's very okay. bad. I, I don't even know where I learned it. It's just, I need, I need a new phrase. So. I mean, it might be useful in some circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> right, but when it's like, we just need a generic, just tell me, teach me how to say something else other than that in Spanish. Um, okay. That would be useful. And just like every Something everyday. useful? Yeah, something useful. And not how to order beer because that's another one. <laughs> oh, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding. Um, we could say just like a general, like, hola, como estas? Hola, como estas? Me llamo Priscila. Me llamo Priscila. Oh, I have to say it like this. Oh, it's yeah. so scary. And you can say maybe you were born. Yo nací. Yo nací. E Calgary. <laughs> <laughs> That's key, the accent on Calgary. Right there. Um, ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Yeah, was better. I know, uh, Feliz Cumpleaños. Feliz Cumpleaños. Hey, Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. <laughs> what if you tell someone that you're just like, you want to wish them well? Like, blessings or like... Que Dios te bendiga. God bless you. <laughs> oh, Dios what? Que Dios, que Dios te bendiga. Te bendiga. Que Dios te... Is that like a rude way of saying it, but it's like a nice way of dissing somebody? Like... It's, it's both, actually. Like, it's very, like, it's my aunt sick. says this all the time, or, like, my grandma will say this all the time, like, yeah. que Dios te bendiga, because it's, like, a very religious Dios. country. Yeah. Um, but it's also, like, when you're, like, good luck, like, in that tone. Like, okay, yeah. Que Dios te bendiga. Okay, a little spice. I thought you said you don't have any spice in <laughs> Colombia. I like it. Not I like food, it. in the personality. <laughs> all the personality. That's so good. I love it. Okay, well, I don't know if I can remember all that, but I, I can remember... Adios. No, not adios. 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 But like, adios mio. Wait, right? Like, how do you say, like, oh my god, adios mio? Ay, Dios mio. Ay, Dios mio. Okay, yeah. We're going to keep practicing. In the meantime, <laughs> let's eat. Let's. Cheers. Cheers to our date, Colombian date. <laughs> our Colombian date. I love it. <laughs> this is just water, by the way. Okay. Mm. Okay, I'm ready. So, okay. Julie, can you tell us off the bat, like what you're seeing here? What what are, what are we about to eat? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is changwa. It's called changwa, and it's actually like a breakfast item. Even though it's a soup, we we have it um, for breakfast. But this is specifically like from Bogota, from your from where you where were I'm born. From yes, uh, the, the capital. capital and like surrounding areas. And it's served warm, and it's um, like a milky broth with an egg, mm -hmm. and there's some onion in there. Um, so it might sound, yeah. I hope you like it. This is so interesting, and so you've definitely had this before. I have. This is like you what your like grandma and great auntie make you. At okay, <laughs> so you. It's also like people say it's a good hangover cure. Okay, so. I was actually gonna ask you about that yeah. because that is what I heard about this food specifically. Mm. So I'm very interested. Oh my goodness. And when was the last time you had this? Well, this is like an egg. This is a real it's egg. It's like soup, a whole egg, yeah. Um, also, since we're like officially foodies now, you oh, know yes. that when we go out to the restaurant, we always take. You gotta get the picture in you there. You know, or else it never happens. It's true. So this is like real time, real time. Okay, 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 let's, let's dive try in. it. Oh my goodness. So it's supposed to be like warm and hot. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. But I taste a lot of the green onion. Mm hmm. Like, I'm, I'm gonna just... be honest, this is not one of my favorites either. No? Oh my gosh. No, but it is like a very typical, common dish. So we have to try it. It's very interesting. Is there any 
thing else that would normally be in this, like rice, um, oil, grease, something. <laughs> <laughs> anything. Um, anything. No, it usually just comes like this. And then on the side, you have like bread or toast or something like that, hot chocolate. Okay. Um, but that is like the whole breakfast meal. So one of the breakfast meals that one of the breakfast are meals. available. What are some other breakfast meals? Um, for next time. For next time. So we also have these things called arepas, which are kind of like pupusas. You said you tried Salvadorian food. I love pupusas. Um, but they're not stuffed. Well, some of them are. It depends on the region and the city. Some of them are stuffed. Mm -hmm. um, but it's usually just like a corn flour um, with water, salt, maybe a little butter, a little bit of like shredded cheese. Mm -hmm. And then you heat them up and you put butter on top, like melted butter. Oh, that sounds so good right about now. Yeah. No disrespect to you, <laughs> sir. To the sad egg. Ma'am. Uh, <laughs> to the sad egg. <laughs> yeah, and then people like will put like scrambled eggs on top and eat the arepa like that, like as like a... Um, like an open face sandwich. Yeah, kind yeah. of. Oh, that sounds delicious. Um, or they'll put cheese on top or like cheese oh, and ham. Um, so Ooh. that's very common. Great, making me hungry. And we have food right in front of us. Yeah. Okay. And, and then, then just give it one more little Everybody shot. always has coffee because you know Colombia is very famous for coffee. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, as well as hot chocolate. That's also very mm. popular. How would you describe this like locally made meal as opposed to when you've had it back home in Colombia? Um, yeah, it's pretty similar. I don't have it much because it's not one of my favorite things again, but. <laughs> like, it's like, it's different. It's yeah, definitely it's different. Um, but this is why I love dish meat. We get to try different things, new things that I wouldn't normally try. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy that we got to try it. Something new and something different. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's just watery. It's a little salty, but not too salty. Like I would say that part is okay. However, if you want to try something new, I if, guess. if you like egg and you like milk, combined, uh, try changwa. <laughs> yeah. So thank you for trying this dish with me. Thank you for trying this dish with me. Let's move on to our next. Okay. Now I recognize these. These are empanadas. Yes, they're empanadas. Did I say it right? Yes, you did. These are okay. delicious. So if you don't like these, I'll have to unfriend you. Oh, remove she your, said foodie, it here. your foodie status? Um, status. Oh no. Okay. Because okay, it's fried dough stuffed. Like you can't what go else? wrong. What can go wrong? And even if I don't like it, I'm gonna just say that I do, so that we can <laughs> stay friends. <laughs> good, good, good. So there's lots of stuffings. There's some that are beef, some that are like chicken. Mm -hmm. Um, in the coast, you could probably even find like seafood stuffed empanadas. They're not super common, I would say, but they mm. exist. Mm -hmm. And there's like vegetarian ones who are just like cheese and potato. Mm -hmm. um, and these are sold, these are also considered like street food. Mm, so sick. they're sold in like little carts on the sidewalk as you're walking down the street. Nice. Um, people's like little shops. Yeah. Um, very cheap, mm -hmm. um, delicious. But they're also sold in like high-end restaurants, just like the elevated version okay. of it. So it's like not, it's not just for like a certain Street type food. of, right. of class or anything like that. I love that. So. Thank you for saying that. Cause yeah, honestly, when I think of empanadas, I think of just quick, easy go and just mm. like you're on the run. But yeah, there's nice, it's, that's nice to know that there's like an elevated experience to it as well. Yeah, of course. Ooh, Let's okay, well see. I'm excited. And then what is the actual dough? Like, is it just fried dough? It's like a corn. Like Look at that grease. Oh, so it's one. gluten friendly. Oh yeah, I guess. All right, I like that. Okay, cheese. I think this is chicken. I want to say. Oh, it smells good though. Mmm. 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 I mean, fried dough and cheese is just. Mmm. It's oily. It's greasy. It's delicious. Right. Like this is what I call hangover food. <laughs> <laughs> mm hmm. You're right. When there's like oil and grease, it just like soaks it all up in the dough. This is so good. This feels like, I mean, I've never been to Colombia. I haven't been yet, but I feel like this is the most authentic tasting kind of Latin food that I've had. Mm -hmm. Like, unless it was made by my El Salvadorian auntie. <laughs> yeah, this feels very authentic. Like, lots of countries in Latin America have empanadas. They're just like different versions of them. Mm -hmm. So it depends where you go. And I don't actually think I've had like the corn like the corn mm. dough before. And it's very refreshing. It's really, really nice. Yeah, it's good. It's crunchy. It's nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. It gives that nice crunch, but it's not like grainy because sometimes I feel like when I've had corn tortillas or corn things, it's like grainy. 
Mm -hmm. This is nice. It's like mm, melting in your mouth. Yeah, I have one. So, do you know how to make these? Like, how no. hard are these dishes to make? Okay, I'm gonna confess something. Uh oh. I don't know how to make like any Colombian food. <gasps> Dun, Mom, dun, dun. don't kill me. She knows. She knows. I don't know how to make any Ooh. Colombian food. We tried to guess at the beginning. <laughs> your Colombian, your real Colombianness. Come on, girl. No, just kidding. I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even say that. I don't know how to make half my Trinidadian food, so that's okay. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. You just it's leave super it hard. Grandma. So whenever I'm craving, I just go to my mom's house. You know what? That's all you got to do. But, what but about I do want her to teach me for sure. Yeah, you have to pass on the tradition because what yeah. about... You know, when she's not with us anymore, our parents, they move on. Yeah, and if you have kids, grandkids, right. teaching them this, or else it's gonna mm -hmm. end there, and we don't want that, so. Something to learn, something to learn. Mm -hmm. okay. But I don't think she knows how to make empanadas. Oh my God, who are we gonna talk to? We gotta go back to this restaurant. Yeah, cause you have to like grind the corn. Mm. This is so good. Sounds like a long process. It is probably a very long process, so it's just easy to buy them frozen. <laughs> oh my gosh, or you can, I wonder if you get them frozen from this restaurant. Shout out to Latino Food Market. <laughs> they probably <laughs> maybe sell them frozen, but I know there's a, there's a, there's a Latin grocery store called Uni Market mm. in, in Calgary. They have two locations and they sell a bunch of, not only Colombian food, but Latin food, um, mm. frozen, fresh. They bring snacks, drinks, beverages, like everything. Good to know, good mm -hmm. to know. So, see, so that's why you don't know how to make any of the things. You just go buy it. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. Okay. But it's very good. I haven't had the cheese one yet. Maybe I'll have this one so we can kind of compare. Mm. Which one do you like better so far? They're both really good. Yeah? Ooh. You could also have these for breakfast, actually. Listen, I would have these for breakfast, lunch, snack, dinner. Yeah. Like, people usually like are walking down the street. They want a snack. They stop. They get a couple. And they keep walking. Mm. Um, it's like one of those easy like grab and go things. Mm -hmm. so. This cheese one really reminds me of what we have in Trinidad. It's just called like bake, mm. and it is literally just fried dough with a little bit of sugar in there. Is it corn too? No, it's not corn. Oh, it's just flour, okay. sugar. And that's really it. But it's like, yeah, it's just sweet, and we sometimes put cheese on it. But it tastes exactly like this. It's like, mm. yeah. But I think yeah, like you said, every country has like their fried dough of some mm -hmm. sort. Mm, I don't know which one I like better. They're mm. both really good. What do you think about the grease? Like, honestly, normally I would complain, but like, I'm the greasier actually, the better. The greasier the better. Like, you know what? Just like for those ashy elbows, guys, like <laughs> multi purpose. <laughs> it's dry in Calgary. <laughs> right? It Got is dry fries. here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> multi purpose, guys. Multi purpose. <laughs> They're so good. I like that. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, friends, we are ready for our main dish. We've already had the egg soup and <laughs> the empanadas, which were mm, 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 chef's kiss. And now I'm excited to learn from you, Miss Moreno, what we have in front of us right now. Perfect. So this soup is called ajiaco. And it is also very traditional to Bogota, which is where I'm from. Uh, so we got the full menu today from Bogota. Nice. Um, and it's really, really yummy. I hope you like it. It has Looks plantain good. in it, shredded chicken. Mm. Um, and I think it's three different kinds of potatoes. So it's actually really hard to make here because mm. we don't have those potatoes here, here. like okay. even in the supermarket. Oh wow. So so what kind of potatoes did they put in here? I think in Colombia there's like hundreds of different types of potatoes. Oh, That's so why they just made the Calgarian version, maybe. Yeah, or maybe maybe they maybe they import potatoes. Oh, that's true. That's too. probably that's what they true. do. If not, maybe they just like use a different potato. Okay. But it's still really good. My mom makes this all the time, and it's delicious. Um, she's very good at it. So yeah, I don't know what kind of potato it is. Sorry, mom. <laughs> but <laughs> um, it's potato. still very good. But the original dish has potatoes that like don't normally grow, or not in like your like superstore. Right, right, right. right. Um, maybe in like the Latin mar food markets. Maybe maybe sure. you would find them. Um, but it's really good and it comes with this on the side. Yes, so you're supposed us. to put that in there um, as per how much ever you oh, want. So like put it in now, some mm -hmm. capers. Mm. So yes, yeah, so let's start with the capers. <laughs> I don't think salty. I never... Yeah, I actually don't think I smell capers. Like Yeah, they're very legit. salty. Um, so if you like capers, put them in. If yeah. not, okay, then... I'm gonna put a couple, I'm gonna put a couple. I kind of want to taste it without 
Okay. And then yeah, you try it without. Okay, we have to snap it. Capture. Make sure you get that little grain there. And then this little song. And then what do we have in here? This is avocado. avocado. Okay, okay, okay. So in the actual <laughs> soup, we usually put the capers and the cream. Oh I always put capers in, just a little bit of cream, not too much. What is the cream? It's just cream. Oh, it's literally just cream? Yeah, Why just does cream. it smell so different? Yeah, maybe just try a little bit if you're not sure. <laughs> What does it taste like? It's definitely cream. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. We why. confirmed. It just like smells different. Like, okay. Okay, so that's so interesting. Up. And this is like usually like the main dish. The main dish is the soup, usually comes in like a very big bowl. And on the side, we have rice and plantain. That's very hearty. Okay, so I had it without anything. Okay. I'm gonna put some capers in there, see if that makes it a little. Ooh, to like change the consistency. This is yeah. interesting. Cream. This is another dish that I do not know how to make. <laughs> really? But I will learn one day. Mmm. How is it? I think the capers totally changed it. Mmm. Totally changed the flavor. It's like a pop of saltiness. Yes, yeah. So I definitely don't think I would put as many capers next time. Mm. <laughs> I want a little I want a little ham with the capers. Yeah, whenever you order this at a restaurant, they usually always serve it with capers and cream and people put mm. nothing or just capers or just cream or both. Mm. It just depends on what, what you like individually. There's also plantain in here. I don't know if I forgot to say that, mm. but yes. we always love plantain. I definitely went a little pla plantain, plantain. This is gonna be a thing every time. I don't know why, but in Trinidad, we call it plantain. Even though we know there's an A, but the A is silent for us. <laughs> it's plantain. <laughs> In Spanish. It's plantain! Platano. Okay, that sounds we way can more. Can I just Spanish. call it that? Yes. Platano. 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 Well, this is way better. Now the plantain plantain debacle is over. I'm gonna call it platano from now on. Mm -hmm. And it's a very hearty soup because it comes with like the three potatoes, mm. three different types of potatoes, plantain. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so it's like perfect for like a cold. Yeah. So it's kind of like our chicken noodle soup, but with no noodles. Yeah. <laughs> that. Yeah, because you have the rice instead. Mm -hmm. And the platano. The platano. <laughs> That's so interesting. And we have the avocado on the side as oh, well. Yeah. So you even, you put, oh, there's all kinds of food groups in here. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. There's different textures. Like the soup is obviously like liquidy, but it's very hearty and like healthy. There's lots happening here. Mm -hmm. The it's potatoes. Very, like cozy. Exactly, hopefully. Yeah, I want, I want a little caper cray. I want a little caper cray. Uh, Did you put all of them in there? I didn't. So that's oh. why I didn't think it was that big of a deal, but yeah, I would definitely order this. It's Again. really good. Mm. And is, this is like Colombian grade A rice, or is this like mini? You know, that's a funny question because Uncle Ben's rice, like what? Is... <laughs> For some reason, I taste rice in Colombia or like this rice, and it tastes like different. Yeah, it tastes mm. like. I'm eating Colombian rice, but I don't know what the difference is. Maybe I just suck up making rice. Who knows? But this is very good. Oh my god! No, this rice does taste different. Like I wonder what they put in it. Mm. It's like flavorful. Yeah, it's really good. I can eat just the rice alone. It's very good. Mm. So as a foodie, do you prefer going out or cooking? Because you did mention you like to cook. I do like to cook, but. Believe it or not, I'm not a very creative cook. Aww. So well, not like with I that just... attitude, Julie girl. <laughs> I know, I know. So I feel like I always just like revert to the same dishes. Mm. So I love to eat out. Yeah. If I could eat out every Let's single day, I would, but I would probably be 3,000 pounds. <laughs> um, but yeah, the whole experience of just like looking at a menu and like picking something mm. and having it like waiting for it to come and you don't know like what it looks like, what it's gonna taste like. You're a real foodie. You yeah, and then like, like seeing it with your eyes first because you know they say like you eat with your eyes first. Mm. Um, it's like really nice to look at. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy that experience. Have you ever gone to a restaurant by yourself? Oh my gosh, that's such a good question. I feel like I have in like a rush and just kind of like, it's just me. 
but I actually put it on my bucket list that I want to mm. intentionally like go and just sit down and have like a full five course meal and be like, no, just for one, please. And you know, like with intention, go there. Like dine. plan it. Yeah, mm. like treat myself. Yeah, I wonder why That's it's like such a thing to go Stigma. eat by yourself. Up. Right, yeah, like you feel shy or, I'm sure it's just. Maybe because you think people will think you had stood up. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> just have to wear a shirt that says like, I am dining alone on purpose. Like, I don't know. <laughs> mm -hmm. So taking your Colombian expertise hat, what, if anything, would you change about this main course before we dive into our dessert? Mm. Mm. No, I think it was really good. Yeah? Yeah. Honestly, like I really like the soup, but I'm actually here for the rice and like avocado. Like, I don't know why. It's the like, side dishes. Yeah. It's so basic, but it's like, I'm here for it. And I need to know what they did to this rice. Latin food market, let us go and ask them. Right? I'm, mm -hmm. That's going to be the next episode. Very good rice. Investigation. Because like there's, it doesn't look like there's anything in it. But when you eat it, mm -hmm, they it's put something good. in there. Mm -hmm. They put something in there. It's like salty, but like flavorful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is so much better with friends. <laughs> <laughs> Eating is a shared experience for me always. Right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for doing this. Of course, thanks for having me. A meal with me. It is was there a lot of fun. Anything? I'm glad you had fun. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that we missed that you would like to share with anyone watching? Um, No, I think I just had a great time, but if you live in Calgary and you love food, make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, calgary.foodie. Yay. <laughs> Cheers. Yay. And cut. What are the, what's the criteria for being a foodie? I don't think there is one. I think you can definitely like self name yourself a foodie. Like if you love to eat, if you love to try new restaurants and new food and, um, like the experience of going to a restaurant, looking at a menu and yeah. ordering things, like if that excites you, because that's, that's what I feel.